Hello, this is a tutorial on how to remove one of the Z gear boxes from our version 10 printer. So if you look at this printer from the side, here's the X motor and the X rail, here's the Y rail, and this side is the Z gear box. This motor here is for the Y rail, and we're not going to be touching that now. What we're going to do is we're going to change this whole gearbox section here. Okay. So the first step, we're going to unplug all the motor connections and then we're going to start unscrewing these screws. These are either two screws or three screws, depending on your model printer. If you are using power tools, please be gentle. Uh, using extremely strong uh, drills can strip threads, so make sure you don't apply too much force. I would recommend starting with an Allen key first, and then you should use power tools the rest of the way. There we go. Now please be careful, once these screws are out, the Z can move down and this gearbox can move. So this can start spinning and that affects the Z. So please be careful uh, to make sure it doesn't come crashing down and pinching any fingers or other parts. So to get this off, we're going to try and wiggle it straight off. So I'm pushing back and forth while pulling outwards. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And if you get it a little bit, you can then use a large uh, flathead screwdriver to help assist in prying it out a bit. There we go. As you can see, now it comes off, but now when it's in this position, this is loose. I am currently holding the belt with my hand here to prevent this from crashing down like this. So this will come crashing down quite quickly. So here, we want to make sure that this keyway, let me get a little zoom in on it, this motor key right here, or shaft key, is still there. If it pops off and falls down, you must retain this little shaft key. We do not want to lose that. Okay, so now to put it back on, let me get a focus on this, we need this keyway right there to align with the shaft here. So let's say you've got a replacement gearbox here that you've received from 3D Potter. We are going to attach it back onto here. And as long as the keyway lines up, the orientation doesn't matter. You can put it like this or this, but this little spacer needs to be put in as well. And so there's some holes here on the spacer and the spacer holes are gonna line up. So there's one hole here and one hole here. And they line up with this hole here and this hole here. And if there's a third hole, then it lines up with the bottom one as well. Just like this. So for this spacer, we have two screws here. So this one and this one, this one and this one. So we're gonna line the spacer up like this. And we'll put a screw through. Any other screw? just to kind of hold these and hold the spacer in place or attempt to. And we want to get this guy back on. There we go. So what I did there is I aligned the keyway with the shaft on the pulley. And once it's on, you can wiggle it back in. And sometimes I was able to just push it straight on. So that was not that bad at all but you might have to wiggle it on. Do not use a hammer to smash it on. Slowly wiggle it on back and forth, moving back and forth. Once these are on, you can then tighten up these screws a little bit. We do not recommend using power tools to disconnect them. These should be hand tightened on both. So you get one screw in, and then if you can, the other screw is not aligned, you may have to move the motor a bit and align it up. 
and tighten them together. So tighten one and then tighten the other, and then tighten the other, and then tighten the other back and forth. And that's it. And that's how you change one of the uh, Z gearbox motors or a gearbox with the gearbox with the motor on one of our version 10 printers.